Michael was a coach that uh, we like as a person. Uh, we like as a as a coach. The same feeling is not only mine. It's, it's also Tom Fox in the locker room. Uh, we didn't come into this with a plan as to parting ways at this point in time because we hoped that we could bring it to the end of the season. Um, one thing I think we all have to agree with is that we have to be angry with ourselves um, for having come to this point, and I am angry with myself as well. So we have fallen short of those expectations, and the timing, <coughs> as much as the decision is unfortunate, but we want to start in a, in a head, head in a new direction. And we're taking a hard look at ourselves, um, all of us. Um, direction we were heading this season um, with the results that we obtained is um, is not satisfied uh, we're not satisfied with for that reason we we said we have to uh, finish this season in a different way than we did in the first three quarters of it and no the, the overall direction has been clear from day one we did know that we had not an easy task. I did not join the San Jose Earthquakes from Roma because it was easy, but because I saw an opportunity for us to do something special and we will be 100% committed to uh, continue to build the club <coughs> and make a commitment that we will be stronger in 2019. If I look at that very first game that we played here at the Valle Stadium, um, I think we saw a completely different team than we see today. Uh, not just because we played Minnesota. Minnesota mm -hmm. is, a, is a solid team in MLS, just like Dallas was. Um, but our team, our front office, our coaching staff, went into that game after a preseason that led us to be confident. Um, we won that game 3-2. But if you watch the first 60, 70 minutes of that game, um, we did things that we weren't asked to do because we had A, confidence. B, I think that we made a commitment to things that were important to Michael. Uh, he called them the bearing walls. Unfortunately, these bearing walls started to crumble over the course of this season. And that's not because of Michael, that's because of a shortcoming that all of us have to accept. So to be frank, um, there's not one single person to be pointed at when it comes to the fault. It's the failure of everyone, and including myself. Expe expectations are to compete uh, and find a way to win on a more consistent basis. I mean, I'll take a page out of our sister club, the, uh, the Oakland A's up there. We're not expected to compete this year as early as they did. They had some players that sort of came up and they've had performances that they didn't necessarily count on. So their expectations were that they wanted to be good. Ours are too. I, the time frame for when you get there relies, as you guys know, because you cover the game, on a great number of intangibles, the ability to knit together the ecosystem of that locker room, the players, the personality, the, the, the qualities that they have, the style of play. All those things have to come together in the right way. Um, but our, our ambition is still to compete uh, and to, to find a way to win. You know, he and I have both been through this at other clubs. It's one of the most challenging decisions and probably the most important role you can hire for at the club. Um, I was incredibly supportive of the move last year to hire Michael. We do things here together as a team. We bounce ideas off, off of each other. Um, you know, that I was very supportive of bringing Michael and the coaching staff in. Uh, the work he had done uh, in Sweden, I thought was really impressive. The fact that he'd moved around and, and, and worked in other countries, I thought made him uh, an ideal candidate for us. It's unfortunate it didn't work out. You could argue sometimes, you know, giving a guy a year or less than a year, you don't really get a chance to see it. it it's the most difficult but the most important role that you can hire. And um, we, we don't take the decision lightly. Uh, we don't put all of the responsibility on one person to, to make the call. We, we are doing our due diligence in trying to, as Jesse said, give us enough time and space to think about what we do going forward, but it's no different to what we did uh, the last time we, we, we looked at this.